So it is Sunday morning in Los Angeles once again. We are in Venice area and we are currently on Abbot Kinney and we are seeking out places that have been featured in the Netflix series Flaked. And then we're going to head down to Venice Beach the rest of the day. Sweet. Sweet. Yay. And then we have a show to go to in the evening, which is very exciting. We are going to be going to Hollywood Babylon with Kevin Smith and Ralph Garman, which I'm very excited about. But what we might do is go around, see some of these places, and then check in again when we get to the beach on Venice Beach. And I'm going to go on to, uh, do you think I'll fit in well on Muscle Beach? Maybe as a start-up. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Fact time. The reason that this area is called Venice is because originally it was constructed as a getaway spot for all of the rich people and celebrities that were living in Hollywood as like weekend places or vacation places that weren't too far away from where they lived and it was near the beach. And it was designed to have canals. Hence, it being very much like Venice in Italy. These are some of the canals that are on Venice. And there are bridges that go over them that people can cross. People even have boats that they get up and down the canals in. Oh. You just got waved at. They just stopped right in front. Did you not see them? Uh, no. I mean, maybe they thought you were someone. They stopped right there and then just went... <laughs> <laughs> maybe they thought you were someone. I don't know. Anyone can be someone here. You don't know. Anyone can be someone. Well, I am someone. I'm just not someone today. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we are now on actual Venice Beach. In particular, we're at the Muscle Beach area. So that's where everyone works out over there, gets their, gets their juice on, gets their flex. And we found Amber's hotel, which uh, she stayed in ages ago, which is just over there. Um, so she had the facing, the window that faces out onto the actual beach, which was pretty cool, wasn't it? Pretty cool. And now I'm gonna let Amber do some videographing. Videographing. And uh, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna pop up and work out for a bit. Here you go. <laughs> oh oh dear. <laughs> Sand I've got loads you. of sand on me, how'd you feel about that? Oh, I've got sand on me as well, which is interesting. Oh, I didn't go over there. Oh. <laughs> you went over there. Yeah, that was alright. I ache a bit now. What? I ache a bit now. <laughs> oh, my, my one and a half minute workout yeah. sent me really... <laughs> <laughs> sat there doing the Hollywood Babylon show and we're going to be right here watching it. It's going 
going to be a good one. I'm quite happy. So the show just finished. We got our shout out. They uh, they read out the email that I sent in, which was awesome. And Ralph did Adam West doing Vincent Price's bit from Thriller for Amber. Yay! Which is great. So I've seen a Hollywood Babylon show now and had a shout out and that is, I'm not joking, that is something that has crossed off my bucket list now. I think the only thing I've really got left now is to touch Bruce Campbell. So if Bruce Campbell sees this, <laughs> hit me up. I want to just like do that to your chin. That's all. Well, ladies and gentlemen, great thank seat. you all so much for coming out tonight. At this time, guys, our showroom is closing. Thank you guys so much for coming out. We hope you enjoyed yourselves. At this time, our showroom is closing. Amber. <laughs> So what the fuck just happened? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We were waiting around the back of the uh, of the Irvine Improv, like trying to get on my phone to get an Uber to get home. Ralph Garman drives past, and I shake his hand and thank him for our shout out and for a great show and for a great time. And then right after him. <laughs> Kevin Smith drives out, <laughs> rolls down the window. He's like, hey, let's get a picture, yeah. Says hi to us, and I get a so picture. We're, like, we're from Southampton, we're from Southampton. He's like, oh, yeah. And he Kevin thanked Smith. us for coming out, all the way out, and staying for the show. And I said, Clerks is one of my favorite films. I first watched Dogma when I was 17, and Clerks is still one of my favorite films. He got out of the car. <laughs> and he said, <laughs> For that, you get a hug. <laughs> and he gave us each a hug. Not once, but twice. He gave us hugs. I was like, I haven't seen Dogma. <laughs> Clarks isn't my favourite film. <laughs> <laughs> but you were telling him, like... You me a hug anyway. You were telling him about how, the, like, there's a poster in my room of Clerks, and it's above my bed. I have to see it And you see it every time hug. you come in. <laughs> he was so nice, and I know... He hugged me so much! <laughs> I'm trying to keep it together. <laughs> I know that they say, don't meet your heroes you and don't. I know it might be. They say don't meet your heroes and because you might be disappointed because they might not be how you think they're gonna be. That was better. That was. You told so many people about me and Paul Rudd that even he knows about it. <laughs> You said you're the nicest, I was famous like, I can't person. I can't believe how nice you are and how famous you are, and you're talking to me, and you're just so nice. And, and like, I said, and we walked past Paul Rudd the other day. Yeah? yeah, he's famous. And he was like, he's famous. He's that man. Not only that, but I, but he was signing a bunch of stuff for people, and I kind of, I kind of glib, glibly said, I would give you something to sign, but all of my stuff of yours yeah, is at Eng is back in England. And he was like, hang on, let me give you guys something, and he reached into his car. And there's a book that uh, an artist who is working with him has just written, and he's just written the foreword for. And he had a couple of copies of the book, and he signed the book and gave them to me. <laughs> I am still having trouble processing exactly. And I think I just took the nicest photo of my life. Thank you very much. <laughs> exactly. You look How awesome. I've done so well. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and kind of have to like double check this actually happened. I can't even believe happened. that happened. I think that just didn't happen, and I'm not even that. Yeah. He was just so nice after after watching all of this guy's films and listening to him for so long and having him be an inspiration of like you know not going why but going more why not. It's just it's so weird to finally actually like come face to face with him, meet him, I'm have so a genuine surprised. chat with him and actually I'm like, so and he got out of the car specifically to hug us. Yeah, like, yeah, that's the only reason why I got out, we wasn't getting out for a long <laughs> That was, that was utterly insane. I'm just so surprised how like, everyone says that he's really nice and he, when he's talking and he's on stage and he's given all this and it's like, are you actually like that? Do you really feel like you want everybody to, you know, do you really care about people? But yeah, you actually 
does. He was like, have a safe trip. Where are you parked? Are you okay? You're gonna get home fine. I mean, out of all of the notes that, that so this, crazy. of all of the notes that this holiday could have ended on. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. I think, <laughs> I think that was the best. Now we have to go on a 12 hour flight. <laughs> I don't want to go home tomorrow. I don't, because going home means that leaving this behind. You're not in the same place you <laughs> I know. Oh man. So it's our last day in Los Angeles and the last day of us being out in the US and we have a few hours to kill before we go to the airport and um, we are at the farmers market on Grove and this is an old farmers market that has been here since 1934 so we're gonna see some of the interesting things that are along here for a couple of hours before we have to go and get on a plane, go back home. Boo. Not mentioning it, not thinking about it because no, we're here. Pretend it yeah, pretend it's not happening. <laughs> pretend ignore that. It, it might go away. Ignore the fact that we have to go and it might go away. <laughs> we don't know yet. We'll, we'll see how long that lasts for. We'll see how well that idea pans out for us. So even though it's just been Halloween and it's not even Thanksgiving yet in the US, because you've got to remember they have Thanksgiving as well. The Grove is apparently already ready for Christmas. I can't even tilt this down low enough to get it all the way in, but there you are. And as you can hear, it's unusual to be out here and experience two holidays in as many weeks <laughs> in the US, but I feel like we're getting the most out of our time here by experiencing that. It's unusual, to say the least, but at least people are excited. 